Hey, what's up, guys? It's LLI Network. LLI here with a new video today. I bring to you a new unboxing, a new review, and yeah, so you already know it. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so the like three weeks ago I was going on Facebook and I found this um, this post where they sell elites and they sell a Cesaro elite uh, cheap and uh, an elite rock so I wasn't sure which one to buy but I didn't have that much money so I ended up buying the Cesaro because it was cheaper so here I have it in my hands so let me open the packaging so for that you already know we use the trusty red scissors so this comes from El Estado in Mexico which is a state here in Mexico um, from the city of the let me see from the city of Tepetlaxtoc um, not sure how to pronounce that but yeah, from that city, on the Estado de Mexico. And uh, so I got the package kind of open. So we pulled the figure out. And uh, he said it was on excellent conditions. So I need to, to approve that. I need to make sure it's on excellent conditions. So yeah. So here I have the figure. Yeah, apparently it is on excellent conditions. So, it came well packaged. And uh, here it is, the Elite Cesaro. Not sure which Elite it is. It's like 32, something like that. And it has some paint marks. Some, yeah. He tried to do a custom updated Cesaro, as I can see. And yeah, so on the, yeah, the articulation is perfect. Like it's even better than out of the packaging because out of the packaging, normally it is like kind of stiff. And this one, it's perfect. It has a lot of paint marks, as you can see, but nothing that has its own doesn't fix. So, taking a closer look at the head skin, it's kind of yellowish, so most probably I will swap it, not sure, but yeah. Um, oh, it has, it has uh, rubber bands on the, on the legs, yeah. That doesn't bother me, because, uh. Cause uh, it doesn't hurt articulation and it they don't look like that. Like it doesn't, you can see it, can't see it. There's the Cesaro, the arms, which most probably I will swap. The Finn Balor type torso. Well, Seth Rollins type torso, the Cesaro on the trunks, the legs, the knee pads and the boots, nothing much to cover. I will be swapping some things from this. I will be swapping other lower legs to give him the tall boot, uh, yeah, the the tall boot look. Like, it, it's a good figure, I don't have any, any regrets. And uh, I can't compare it to my other Cesaro because it, um, I don't have another Cesaro to compare it with. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, here's the Cesaro. The articulation is really good. I like it. So, yeah. So, I think that's it for this video. Yeah, nothing much to cover. I covered the complete figure. And uh, I like it. Like, it's not perfect. But uh, for the price I paid, it was like... 
uh, like 15 shipped, I think it was a good price. Because uh, here in Mexico, the figures aren't cheap, like they, they're really expensive. So it was the cheapest, the, the cheapest uh, Cesaro figure I could find. And I really wanted a Cesaro. I know the Elite 91 is, or 95 or something like that. 93, not sure which series is. Uh, it's some to come, but um, I'm not liking the, that figure. Like I think the legs are extremely big and the torso as well. It, it looks really weird. Only, only point is the the double jointed arms. But out of that, I'm not liking that figure at all. So yeah, and maybe the entrance row, but I can easily make that. So yeah. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys like the figure, the review, everything. Uh, expect a new episode of Fix Ups Customs using this Cesaro because I needed that Cesaro to continue my video. So, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.